Welcome back to Style Mom XO. So today's video, um, I have the clips that we already filmed of the new like flat top grill barbecue wear that we bought my husband for Father's Day. Um, but you have to do like the whole seasoning thing on it. There we go, that's better. And then we ended up hooking it up to the natural gas line that we put in. So I'm gonna insert that clip and footage right now. And then um, after that, I'm gonna cut back to today and show you guys the awning cause that got installed. And then we got some lounge chairs, but I need to clean them. And then because we have the new flat top grill barbecuer um we have some more of like the hibachi kind of style like utensils for the grill so i feel like our barbecue utensil section is getting too small so i'm thinking about switching out some drawers um so i will go ahead and do that in today's video as well but please subscribe if you guys are new, but we're gonna go ahead and cut right into the footage of us hooking up the grill to the natural gas line and seasoning it to get it ready for its first barbecue. Okay, you guys, so we are weekend project going on. So as you guys know from one of my previous videos, we went ahead and surprised my husband with the black stone, which is right over here. This is the 36 inch flat top griddle thing. <laughs> when we went ahead and built the pool, we had a gas line put in that we thought we were gonna go ahead and be able to hook up our other barbecuer to it, but that barbecuer is non-compatible with a natural gas line. So the griddle top is, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. So I was able to pick this up over at Walmart and it comes with all the pieces that you need except for we already had this from the previous attempt of hooking up our barbecuer but this wasn't compatible fully with this piece right here so we went over to Ace hardware store and got the kind of middle piece if you will um, so this is a piece that's going to connect the piece over from the natural gas line into the actual conversion kit so And you guys, whenever you're messing around with gas, obviously, absolutely do triple checking that gas lines are turned off. We have always made sure that we are super safe with the gas lines, um, and it is for sure off right now, so. There's this gas leak detection solution we can use just regular soap so, and water. Mm -hmm. water. And what you're gonna do is put this over the pipes, like where the connections are, and right. turn the gas on and make sure it's not gonna be bubbling up because if it does, then that just means that there's a gas leak somewhere you have to tighten up your pipes. So he's gonna turn it on. I see a bubble, but let me see if it uh, it's from original, the original bubble. Looks good, right? No bubbles. So yeah, so if you do have a gas leak, it will start um, throwing bubbles out, like if it's soap. And then, sorry, we had music playing in the background. Um, but this pipe threading sealant is you put it on everywhere that's gonna be connected. So whether it's the female to the male, male to female, whatever it may be, um, you wanna put the pipe threading sealant on there to make sure that there's no gaps and it helps like just seal it all the way correct babe that is correct so like i mentioned this is the 36 inch i did buy the cover additional um it still has the stickers on it we put it together and then so we're actually gonna 
season it right now it's like a full process you guys um but me and Dee put this together one day when it came in and my husband came home from work um it didn't come in time for us to pick them up at the airport like we were thinking but it ended up being a good surprise anyways um but like i said this is the 36 inch we actually got this at the brand blackstone we looked at walmart we looked at target k's hardware store we looked at lowell's home depot literally everywhere and on the blackstone site they were actually on sale and it was the cheapest for the 36 inch we didn't get that big old lid that goes ahead and comes on um but we ended up buying the cover and everything for it this is to connect the propane tank okay so that's what it comes with so you can hook up to a propane tank or you can buy the conversion kit so it's just taking that off so now we got the hose we just put the uh, what is that called again the pipe threading sealant yeah. stuff when you close your eyes do you this is a connector here here and we're all set we're connected to the house oh line. my gosh now i gotta convert the other stuff. so this is what else the conversion kit comes with so i guess like i didn't know this part of it these little things right here you have to switch out the like burner tops to Do you guys see that little circle part? This is what we have to end up converting over, um, switching them out to these, which this hole seems a little bit bigger, huh? So we put the grill back on. We're gonna take all these off and then I'll talk to you guys about like seasoning this properly. So really fast, did this griddle top is like a cast iron. So it can rust. You have to really do a good job on taking care of this. We were um, watching a lot of videos on it, and so you need to season it, you need to clean it, you need it to make sure that there's no water on it when you're done with it, putting it away. We bought the seasoning um, kind of oil protectant, and especially for the first time. So I will go and show you guys that, then we'll show you guys how to go ahead and season this properly um, to make sure that is ready to go. This is the griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner. So what you're gonna do is have the grill going for 15 minutes. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some of this on it. This is basically like an oil. You do not wanna use bacon fat, they said, the very first time. You don't really wanna use bacon fat to begin with, but you can use other oils and stuff. But for the very first time that you're gonna be cooking on it, um, you want to season it. They highly recommend with this. And then every once in a while, kind of deep condition it um, with this as well. But so then you're gonna put this on and you're gonna put it on everywhere. You're talking about even the outside the back like you're conditioning the whole entire thing sorry if it's windy you guys it's monsoon season around here <laughs> so it's starting to kick it in um so you're gonna do every part of the surface in and out of it um that you can do then you're gonna wipe it all away and um, we did go ahead and get some rags and then we got the tongs to go ahead and move the rag back and forth and then you're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and then you're gonna repeat it. So you're gonna do this four times. Um, they recommend the very first time to get it really good, highly seasoned and ready for cooking. And I haven't shown this either. We got this over at Lowe's um, and this is just a cooler for outside. Like when all four of us are out here, not just the kids or just me type of thing. Um, if we're having family over, or a little Tucson family as I call them. But 
both sides of these open and it's a big old honking cooler has a bottle like beer cap opener there um, so that's really nice as well and then this has a beer cap opener as well this is a towel kind of paper towel holder um, and then I did buy the one that has the little holder right here for the oils this is magnetic so you can put the spatulas right here um, for like hibachi and stuff and then it has a couple like little hooks right here Okay, we are on layer number three. <laughs> so you wanna do this, like I said before, let it sit for 15 minutes and then do another layer. So it'll take a total of an hour by the time you're done, but that's like the first time seasoning. And then after that, after you clean it, you can put like olive oil or something like that on it. Um, but they just recommend the very, very first time definitely using what we were using um, that I showed you and then every once in a while condition it with that the way that we're doing now um, but after we use it we can clean it scrape it and then just put olive oil and make sure it's completely dry before we close it up so and then also so the directions here say for the 36 inch griddle to use three tablespoons that's what we did the first time and we kind of felt like it was a lot so we ended up just doing two tablespoons um, the next two times so now the last time we're just gonna probably scrape the rest of this out and use that but I wouldn't recommend doing three tablespoons um, and also I don't think that there's enough in here to do three tablespoons four rounds for the first time so just kind of a little side note on that Okay, so now that we showed you guys <laughs> the um, flat top barbecue and all that, we got the awning installed. So I'm gonna put Dee's sandals on. Can you believe his sandals are this much bigger than my feet? <laughs> his feet are bigger than mama's feet, Miles. So we ended up getting a remote control just so we didn't have to do it manually. Um, but you see how much like sun is right here. So then we're gonna push it out. And there it goes. Sorry, the wind is kind of picking up. So, um, and that's another thing too, is we have a, this white thing right out here. And that is for the wind. So once the winds get to 20 miles per hour and this shakes enough, it will automatically come in. So that's kind of like a little wind protectant there. So it doesn't get um, damaged or anything. And look how much more shade. So now this is actually put at an angle. The ang putting the awning at an angle, um, you do have to do that manually on each side. It does have a little leveler right there. So then we can see when it's level and when it's not. But now we can actually sit here in the shade and it is perfect. Um, so that's the reason why we got it so that we can go ahead and eat over here. We're trying to figure out a solution for all the floaties. We might have one. Um, so I'm actually going to put this up right now. So you just push the button and there it goes. So it is so nice. 
So if you guys are in Arizona or California or any desert cities and need a little bit more shade, I would highly, highly suggest this because it is wonderful. And during like around lunchtime, we can go ahead and pull it out and it actually gives us shade all the way up to about the first step of the pool. So this whole entire area is shaded. So it is wonderful. Um, and then again, I will show you guys, we paid for this ourselves, not a sponsorship or anything um but it's just so nice just see this shade coming on out it's so great you guys we're so happy we wanted to do this last summer but of course there's a lot of things that you spend your money on <laughs> and um, we're trying real hard just to like save and pay cash for stuff so we paid cash for that we saved we knew we wanted it for about a year now since last summer um, so we just wanted to make sure we were financially prepared to go ahead and make that purchase but if you guys are in a Tucson or anything like that um, I will leave the company that we used down below um, they don't know that I'm here on social media or anything like that so they don't know that I'm putting the information down but they were on time they were professional um, I would highly suggest them so definitely go ahead and get yourself an awning they're amazing <laughs> Okay, and then these are the loungers that we got. Um, I, we had a really hard time. I was trying to get them at Home Goods, not Home Goods, at home, but they were completely sold out. We were trying to get like the all black ones, um, but they didn't have any. Those are probably the most affordable. I would have to say like be on the lookout as soon as they hit your store. I would go ahead and grab them because they are the most affordable, like I said. Um, so these ones we actually got over at Ace Hardware Store. We looked everywhere. We looked at every on um, Overstock, Wayfair, I would say Arizona, Amazon, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, at home like <laughs> you name it we looked at it um and everywhere was just so expensive and we weren't really like too thrilled with it in fact i thought this was going to be a little bit more black maybe it is it just has like a light thing of dust on it um but they got delivered today it was free delivery we do have an account with them um, like a rewards account so with a rewards account anything over 50 dollars, we're able to get free delivery so they just came in today they came exactly like this they weren't in boxes or anything so i need to take off all of the paper and get them cleaned up
Okay, you guys, so much better. And then, um, like I was telling my husband, once we do lowers over here in the back door section, we'll move all the barbecuing stuff over there. Then this will strictly be just a bar. Um, but all this fits so much better. My husband uses skewers to go ahead and mix like his micheladas and stuff. <laughs> so um, that's why we have the skewers over here, not in the barbecue section, but they can be placed in either or. So that's it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.